you just come in and you show up and you give it your all. That way, no matter what happens in August, there's nothing you could have done better. Can you just like introduce why we're talking to you and say your first nation for me? I am the 76 kilogram rep for Team Canada for wrestling this summer in the Olympic Games, and I'm a member of Norway House Cree Nation. It seems awesome right now, like I'm going to the Olympics, but like if you follow my story, it's like it's like this, and I think the most important part is that I keep coming back even when it's not awesome. I didn't know how badly I wanted to be an Olympian and make it to the Olympics until that opportunity was almost taken away. It's taken two Olympic cycles, but finally we're almost there. Now that you've qualified for the Olympics, what's the goal? I mean, I want to win the Olympics. It's important to have that goal in mind every day and and when training gets hard or when you're tired or whatever I just say to myself like I'll do anything to win the Olympics and it's like almost like an extra push. Well how do we get more Indigenous wrestlers to the Olympics and like sports at that level? Like Indigenous communities sometimes they're more rural communities so all you really need is like a partner as much as it's just like fun play play wrestle with people like to get it to the point where all these kids can like learn and come and build confidence if they have a coach that can like lead them i think that's a big part of the process if you're an indigenous kid if you're not an indigenous kid if you're a boy or a girl whatever your sport you're joining sports are really really hard so don't think you only have to love it because you're winning and even if you're not winning at the beginning stick with it like that i was winning at the beginning but then i was not and if i quit i'd never would have been here so Find something you like and find a reason to fall in love with it besides winning.